What's up guys, so this is going to be a playthrough of Dynamite Dude, a game that I wrote and put up on the PlayStation Store, PlayStation Mobile. So right now I'm playing on PlayStation Vita. Um, so just so you can get an idea of the game, I am going to play first bunch of levels. Alright, so this is the level select screen. Uh, basically what it is is a bunch of cave entrances and all of them are unlocked well one of them is unlocked the, the rest of them are locked so let's jump into the first level so this first level is the basic level it just tells you how to play uh, you can press square for dynamite and then if you press circle he'll put it down in front of himself and the whole goal of the game is just to kill all the enemies in the level. So that one was pretty easy. So now we're just progressing. It's getting a little bit more challenging. So the point of those levels that you can learn that you can break through the rocks. And that the enemies can't go through the rocks until they're broken. So, okay, so level three, here I'm introducing a new enemy, he can go under the rocks, he can just dig right under them. He's supposed to be like a little mole, basically, and you can see these enemies can't go through these blocks. Nothing can go through these blocks. Um, they can't go through the other ones either, so. Bam. Okay. So, basically, the level is getting slightly more complicated. Little by little. Bam, double kill. The, usually the last explosion doesn't go off. I probably should have fixed that. If you can, if it explodes before it touches the enemy, it'll go off. But otherwise, I'm talking about the last explosion, but like the final kill. Otherwise, you need to, uh, like that, you need to set it off before it hits them. I will try to fix that in an update. Basically, have one update that, that I could do before the store closes in July. I'm going to try to make the the menu a little more language friendly so that people in other regions with other languages can play so the menu right now is that and I want to make it so that it's like a little animation So, yeah, this game is very simple. Um, it doesn't get really any more complex. It's just they add more stuff to the screen and different combinations of things. Oh, you could skip that, actually. Okay, so now, the trick here, the point of this level is to teach you that you can, uh, if you hold the L button up here, you can walk, well, you can, basically you can aim your dynamite up, down, left, right, without moving, so he basically just walks in place, and you can set it down. 
to, I mean, once you have more space to move, it doesn't matter. But, you know, you might find that useful at some point in the game. So this level is to teach you, you can press R to kick the dynamite, and it'll just slide down, or whatever direction you kick it in. So, I'll show you here too. Bam! What was that, four? Quad kill? Hell yeah. So yeah, after ten levels you unlock dynamite do that. AKA the female version of Dynamite Dude. And you can press L on the screen L and R to switch characters. So let me pick her right now. Oh, and there's definitely more characters to unlock, including a special character once you reach level 50, once you beat level 50. And it's up to you to find out. Okay. So yeah. It's basically the whole game. And it's going to get a little more complicated after this. But right now, so this is basically just hammering in the, the idea that the little mole dude can dig under the rocks. And it's making you feel bad that you have to break through all these rocks to get to all the enemies. So this is like a maze level. It's not really much of a maze, but it's kind of like, okay, you can take the long way or you can like blast through the shorter way either way it's gonna kind of take a little bit of time even if you blast through that bam I told you you can kick it in any direction as long as whatever direction like where you're standing next to the dynamite you're gonna kick it in the opposite direction See, that's a spot where I should have used L to stand in place and then aim the dynamite. But took a risk. You can die very easily in this game. Like all it takes is like tapping the uh, enemy, and like it'll be where you don't even expect to be touching the enemy you can take damage and just die. You, there's no damage, you just die. And you basically just have to start the level again. <clears throat> These are still, I mean, level one to 10 are the real introduction levels. But these are still kind of like gimmicky levels where things are just kind of set up in patterns. But I, I think once you get to like level 19, that's when things get a little more full. The level becomes more full. There's stuff all over the place. Let me chase these guys down. Oh, and I got the rock. Watch. Oh, completely missed everything. Bam. No. Alright. Maybe after this level, I'll die on purpose just so you can see it. Yes, on purpose. Of course it's on purpose. <laughs> Watch. Bam. Oh. 
then it just kicks you out. But of course you can just start again. Ha. Huh. Okay, so this is this level is a smiley face. That's to indicate that things are gonna get a little bit tougher. Well, this level is just annoying actually. You can go through this way or you can go around a long way. That's the whole point of that level. Oh no, secret character. Oh. So yeah, these levels get a little more open. They kind of use the whole screen. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to kill. I mean, that's not a lot. It could be more. But it's, it's at the point where you actually have to take some time. And if you die, bam, double kill. If you die, you have to start all over and it gets annoying. So that's the challenge. This one is just when I started to get the idea of just, of just like having you go all the way around the level, making the most use of the screen, putting some obstacles in the way. I'm hoping that when I do an update, that I'll, <clears throat> I'll give you the capacity of two sticks of dynamite. And I don't know if that's going to make the game too easy. Uh, we'll have to see. It feels... It doesn't feel too annoying to only have one stick. But... It's a little annoying on the later levels. Oh, that would have been a good double kill. I think I had the timing down. I think it'll explode after five blocks distance. And that's pretty much most of the metagame is just uh, trying to slide down and right at the right time, get as many kills as possible. Bam. Right, this is just like an easy level. I said it was going to get harder, but that's not harder at all. This is just kind of annoying. Bam. So you can practice your kicks. Bam. Wait for it. Oh, missed the other one. Oh, I missed. I wasn't paying attention.
So this game, I think the last time I played through it, it was like 40 minutes. Right now I'm like 15 minutes in, and I'm like halfway through. The levels get a little bit longer, but they're not crazy. And when it took that 40 minutes, that was like, I died a few times. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna stop trying for that one. Oh crap. I wasn't paying attention. See, he got under the rock, I didn't even notice. I should have been really evil and just counted how many times you die in the game. Because I hate when games do that, so why not do it? I hope you like the music too. I got it from some from this royalty free site. It's in the credits if you press select. That's the site that I got it from. And once you beat the game, it'll unlock the credits. So just because I know to press select right now doesn't mean the, the player won't know. You'll know. The guy will get his credits where they're due. Don't worry about that. Oh, 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 double kill. Bam. See, once you once you start doing the kick, you'll get the hang of it. Ooh, so this level <clears throat> was the first in the design, or it's just like a maze. And this one isn't really too hard. But it's kind of designed in a way so that you think you're supposed to go this way, but you really have to go this way. Right now I kind of know where to go because I've played this one many, many times. And it was so funny when I was ready to submit the game, there was one level that was unbeatable. And it's a good thing I decided to play all of them. Because one, one of these rocks or something, it wasn't this level, but one of these rocks wasn't breakthrough, it was a solid one. And you couldn't get through, so I just changed it to a breakthrough one. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to beat this one, and I'm going to cover up the bottom to keep the secret character secret until you can play you for yourself. All right, so yeah, once you beat the game, you'll get a secret characters and you'll also unlock some secret levels. So I'm blocking it. I killed myself. Oh, great. That's the danger. You gotta pay attention. This game isn't hard. You just die from not paying attention. I think I'm gonna, well, I might stop on this level, or I'll just start the next level and then show it, and then make another video some other day. Because I gotta go. Gotta get the heck out of here. Hopefully I don't mess, mess this up again, like a loser. Alright, alright. Ooh, what are you unlocking now? Ooh. Okay, next level. Mm -mm. 
Alright, so I'm at the 20 minute mark. So I'm about halfway through the game. Even though I'm on level 31. This is like the halfway mark when it comes to difficulty and probably dying a few times. Even though I kind of killed myself already. Alright, so I'll just start the next level. And this one is pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff to get through and a lot of enemies to kill. Alright, so that's it for now. I'll probably see you in another video so you can see the rest of the game.